CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.1, Summarize Various Security Measures and Their Purposes. Active Directory. To revisit a concept we discussed earlier in this course, a domain is a network model where one or more servers, known as domain controllers, manage all computers, users, and security within the network centrally. This setup is ideal for larger organizations, where centralized management and security are critical. When a domain is established, an organizational system must follow, and that's where Active Directory comes in. Active Directory is a database service, developed by Microsoft, that helps you organize and manage resources, users, and devices within a domain. It allows administrators to create and manage user accounts, set up permissions, and enforce security policies, all from a central location. Essentially, Active Directory serves as the backbone for managing the entire network within a domain. Before diving into the specific components of Active Directory, it's important to understand the fundamental concepts of an object. In Active Directory, everything that can be managed within a network is considered an object. Objects include users, computers, printers, shared folders, and even security groups. Each object in Active Directory is represented in the directory as a unique entity with its own set of attributes, such as name, permissions, and other settings. One of the most common types of objects in Active Directory is the user object. A user object represents an individual user within the network. This object contains all the information relevant to that user, such as their contact details, username, password, and permissions. When a user logs into the network, Active Directory verifies their identity using the credentials stored within their user object and then grants them access to the resources they're authorized to use. Other objects, like computers or printers, work similarly. They have their own set of attributes and permissions that determine how they interact within the domain. By organizing all these objects within a structured hierarchy, Active Directory allows for efficient management and control of the network's resources. With that foundation in mind, let's explore the key components of Active Directory that help maintain order and security within a domain. First, the login script is a set of commands that run automatically when a user logs into a domain, typically mapping network drives, printers, and other resources. If a user cannot connect to any network drives, it often signals that the login script has failed, possibly due to network issues or misconfigurations. Now, one of the most powerful features within Active Directory is group policy. This feature allows administrators to control and configure operating system settings and user environments across all objects in a domain. For example, group policy can ensure that all workstations have the same network drives, printers, and configurations, enforce password length requirements, or even modify the default homepage for all the workstations in a company. Organizational units are another crucial component, acting as containers within a domain that help organize users, groups, computers, and other resources. By placing different objects into organizational units, administrators can apply specific policies to different departments or groups within the organization, providing a more granular level of control. Next, we have the home folder. This is a personal folder assigned to a user where they can store files. Rather than being stored on the local computer, this folder is often stored on a central file server, making it easier to back up and secure. In a similar vein, folder redirection allows administrators to change the location of certain folders, such as desktop or documents, from the local machine to a network server, ensuring that important files are stored centrally and can be backed up regularly. Finally, security groups simplify the management of user permissions within the domain. By placing users into groups, administrators can easily assign permissions to resources like files, folders, or printers. This is especially useful in large environments, where managing permissions for many users individually would be time-consuming. Together, these components of Active Directory provide a robust framework for managing and securing resources across an entire organization ensuring that everything from login scripts to security policies are centrally controlled and efficiently managed. Thank you for watching. 
Subscribe for more great content.